So hello everyone, uh, I'm Rajkumar Nagpal Design and I'm basically principal engineer from Synopsys and I'm chair of D5 work group. And actually this presentation we name as MIPI Byte and this is a very short presentation on the introduction of uh, MIPI, you know, embedded clock mode. Okay, MIPI D5, in this slide I just give you a top level recap of the application area where MIPI D5 is used. So MIPI D5 is used in camera and display interfaces. Basically, it connects camera and display devices to the application processor. Okay, so MIPI D5 is very much used in smartphones, IoT, and uh, automotive uh, interface for camera and display solutions. Uh, Spec-wise, MIPI D5 specification is actually respecting and interfacing with the camera serial interface and display serial interface. Uh, D5 is basically a high performance, low power, low EMI solution um, available for interface solutions. If you really want to see a very top level MIPI D5, you can look at my previous presentation, which is under MIPI Byte, uh, which we recorded in 2021. Okay, so MIPI D5, um, physical layer is actually supporting both founded clock mode and embedded clock mode uh, in version 3.5. And um, the MIPI D5 is going to enhance the data rates with the embedded clock mode. For the founded uh, mode, clock mode, its data rate will remain same. So it is supported just from the backward compatibility point of view. So basically a top level, you know, MIPI D5 for date clock is basically a legacy D5 solution, which is very simple and easy to implement. Um, it is actually a for date clock solution, wherein um, there is a separate clock, which is running with the data lens and it is supporting the data rate of nine gigabit per second. It do supports bus turn around, okay. And basically this physical layer is basically supporting half duplex configuration. So that means, you know, forward and reverse data is supported, but only one direction at a time. And basically the D5 is supporting standard short and long channels, and it is supporting legacy low power interface. Uh, there's an optional ALP, means uh, mode is also available. And uh, it is a basically a standard differential signaling um, uh, physical layer and it supports high speed reverse mode at the quarter rate of the forwarded mode. And this is very top level, very, very top level, you know, selling features of the founded clock mode. Now, if we move to the embedded clock mode, you know, actually embedded clock mode, we started from D5 3.5 version. And uh, the reason for really moving to the embedded clock mode is basically the channel jitter amplification, which actually limits increasing the data rates in the founded clock mode, because with higher um, higher clock frequency, the jitter is actually getting amplified. So to control your jitter, you have to go embedded clock mode. So embedded clock mode is not having a, a separate uh, clock uh, lane running and uh, clock is actually embedded in the data itself. Uh, the advantage of this particular configuration is that uh, you get a better EMC performance because there is no clocks per available. So it is all data, there's no clock. Uh, you can uh, actually go to still higher data rates. There's no jitter amplification. And actually in D5.4.0, we are going to 16 gigabit per second per lane. And actually, your overall throughput is also increasing because now the clock lane can be used uh, as a data lane. So in fact, um, you get additional data lane available to you. And um, in a way, overall your data rate enhancement is possible, okay? Because this there is better equalization uh, is possible. You can actually stretch the data rates uh, moving forward also. So this is actually the path taken to really go to the still high data rates in future. So actually, additionally, we are looking into supporting additional lossy channels also. This is under investigation. 
And uh, by the way, embedded clock mode is supporting 128, 132B encoding for better CID performance as it is required for our CDR. And now with the embedded clock mode, uh, you can just work with two wires. There is uh, just two wire for either camera or display. And uh, all lanes are independent in nature as every lane is having its own dedicated CDR. So embedded clock mode brings in a lot of new features. New, uh, new doors are open to really add on the features in the future. So this is going to be a new path for the MIPD-5. So in fact, um, if you need more information on the MIPD-5 specification, you, go, you can go to this website. And uh, if you happen to have any query, you can drop a mail at this admin at the rate of mep.org. And thanks for watching this video.